Nick Rutter from McKees37.com. I'm going to show you today how to remove a surface scratch from the door of this beautiful Ford F250 Power Stroke Diesel XLT. If you know anything about these trucks, their investments, their workhorses, people spend upwards of 70, 80, 90, even $100,000 on a pickup truck like this. Even used, they command high prices. So there's nothing like having this beautiful pickup truck and then having an eyesore of a scratch where you see every day when you walk up to the truck and you get inside. So come on in, I'm gonna show you how to remove that scratch using our complete swirl remover, which is a heavy cut polish. And then we'll refine the surface using our complete finishing polish. And the beauty of these two products is you don't have to be an expert with several years of experience to maximize this process to remove the scratch. And then to do so, we're gonna use the Flex PXE80. This is a battery powered cordless polisher and it features several different attachments. You can make it a three millimeter orbit or a 12 millimeter orbit. It's a quick change chuck right here. And you can go all the way down to a one inch pad and even have a rotary mode for a direct drive. This has been one of the most popular tools that we sell at mckees37.com since it came out. And when I say three millimeter or 12 millimeter, I'm referring to the stroke, how far the pad goes when it's rotating. Right now I have the 12 millimeter orbit attached. That's gonna give me the most power and the most stroke for the dual action operation. So when you have a scratch like this, you can approach it a number of different ways. Experience has taught me that by looking at the scratch, I can't feel it with my fingernail. So I know it's actually not in the clear coat. When you can feel it with your fingernail, usually it's too deep to remove completely unless you resort to sanding. This appears to be on the surface. So I think that we can get 70, 80, 90, maybe even 100% of this scratch removed. So to do that, I'm gonna start with our three inch backing plate and our 3.75 inch yellow cutting pad from the Keys 37. This is our red line pad series. But if necessary, I can actually go down to a one inch pad here. And this will give me a little bit more power because we're concentrating our abrasives and the power of the tool from this size to this size. However, I wanna use something less aggressive so I'm gonna use the three and three quarter inch pad to start. So I'm gonna take our complete swirl remover. It's always important that when you have a compound or a polish, you shake it up well, because there's abrasives that are suspended in the liquid and you wanna make sure they're uniformly distributed throughout the material. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit to this pad. It's not gonna take a whole lot. And when I work this scratch right here, I'm going to be moving the polisher at a slow arm speed I'm gonna be applying firm downward pressure. I want the abrasives and I want the mechanical cutting ability of the pad to level the paint so we can remove that scratch. So here we go. We put the machine on there, just spread it out. And I'm gonna start off at a low speed. The PXE80 is a variable speed unit. You have your minus and your plus right here. You have a locking trigger. I'm gonna dial my speed up and go over it several times. Always turn the machine off with the pad still in the paint, otherwise you'll splatter everywhere. Our complete swirl remover is really easy to wipe off. And if we look at this now, which I'll capture some footage for you, this scratch I would say is about 90% removed. There's still some minor indications. And at this point, what it comes down to is I would consult with the owner this vehicle does not belong to me. I would consult with the owner and say, hey, listen, Jerry, 
it looks really good. It's 90% improved. This is a big picture detail here. When you stand back a foot, you have to really look hard for it. That's option A. If this were me, my vehicle, that's what I would do. Option B is Jerry can say, well, Nick, I want you to try even more. I really don't want to see anything at all. What I would do then is I would step up to the rotary mode with the most aggressive gray cutting foam pad. And I would work this scratch a little bit longer. The only compromise with that is that the clear coat on this truck, like any other modern vehicle, it's extremely thin. Jerry's gonna own this truck for at least another decade. Like I said, these trucks are investments, they're workhorses, people use them for work. So I would advise Jerry to leave this be because at this point, I have to go like this to see the scratch and I'm not really even gonna worry about it because before it stood out like a sore thumb, but now you can hardly see it. So the next step is I'm gonna switch pads from the cutting pad to this black finishing pad. And this is simply going to refine the surface and maximize the gloss. So when Jerry takes the truck home and he slaps a coat of wax on it or paint sealant, it's protected afterwards. So just a little bit of our complete finishing polish. And I'm going to um, need a lower speed this time because I'm not trying to abrade the paint. I'm just polishing it to a high gloss. Like complete swirl remover, complete finishing polish wipes off of these. Doesn't smear, doesn't streak. And you really, really have to look hard to see any remnants of that scratch. And what is left, you have to really chop away at the clear coat to remove, and I wouldn't recommend it. So when you have a scratch like this, pick your battles. It's big picture overall. When you walk right up to the truck, you don't see it anymore. If you squat down, you might see some spots here or there. To me, I would stick a fork in this and call it a day. So the next step is you'd apply a coat of wax or paint sealant, something to protect the paint. And otherwise, that's it. So that's the complete swirl remover and complete finishing polish. The Flex PXE80 variable speed cordless battery operated polisher, along with the Redline series of foam pads. I'm Nick Rudder from McKees37.com. Visit our website for more information, subscribe to our YouTube channel, take care and God bless.